So to finish up our headliner section here now, we're going to install the window seals onto the glass windows and then eventually install the windows. What you want to do is you want to use there's a fused section on the rubber and you want that to be in the center and bottom portion of the front window. I'm using West Coast metric seals here. These are uh, these are great seals to work with. I, I highly recommend them. I would try to avoid the Brazilian or the Mexican seals. They're just too hard. Uh, the West Coast metric is nice and soft and uh, is real easy to work with. As you can see also I'm working in an outside area so the sun is beating on the seal and it's nice and soft. But what I'm showing you here is part of the seal where the grooves are. Uh, the flat portion of the seal with the groove is what will go around the window. The other groove is for the chrome and that you'll notice is on the outer flap. You want to make sure you're getting it on correctly. Um, but uh, as you see here I'm starting on the corners first. Just trying to work my way around and okay, just keep working it upward and around. You see here I started in the corner. And you see that's like the flat portion of the seal where the groove is. That's how you know that part goes around the window. And then basically I just kind of wiggle and pry and open up that groove to get the seal on there. And like I said, it's a lot easier when you're out in the sun because at least the sun is warming the seal and it makes it softer. So you can look closely here as I'm... Sometimes I kind of get the top portion of the groove on the window and then pull downward to open the seal a little bit to then get the seal on. Um, this is the way you know, I've, I've been doing it for a while. Um, in the beginning it might be a little tricky and a little funny, but you pretty much get the hang of it. Uh, it takes some time, so just go slow and, you know, no rush here. And make sure the groove is all the way on. Some of the Brazilian seals uh, that are really tight on this bottom portion of the window, they'll start to bow, and, and for some reason the seal just won't stay on the glass. Um, these West Coast metrics are actually really good, or the German seals. As you can see, I have the few, remember the fuse section at the center bottom and make sure you're even all the way around on the window and make sure that seal is all the way on. Now we're going to get onto the chrome that goes into the groove in the seal. Now some of the chrome, they, they usually they sell these in kits. Um, sometimes the chrome is a little too narrow here so I'm just kind of like opening it up a little bit more so it's even with the window. The front uh, windshield actually has two pieces that go in for it um, and usually they give you the clips as well and again I usually start in on a corner and you're gonna have to pull back the flap and try to and in you know try to work its way into the groove okay and sometimes you might need a little screwdriver to to pry the seal Sometimes you get the front part of the seal in over the groove, over the uh, the chrome rather, but the back portion here in the corner is not flapped around. So you might have to go in there with the screwdriver and kind of pick it around. But once you have the corner in, you can use some WD-40 soap or silicone, and I spray it into the groove. And then you can get like a butter knife, a plastic butter knife, and start working the WD into the groove. And and then once that happens you should be able to press the chrome right in and that's been the way that I do it and uh, it seems to be working that way so um, and then once you work your way all the way around the window you have to fuse it together with the uh, one of the clips that holds the two pieces down you might have to pry them up a little a bit again but then you can just push right back down in since the lubrication is probably still in there I like to use soap instead of WD. I know I use WD in the video here, but uh, soap is good because then it dries and it will keep the chrome in there. WD over time doesn't dry as fast and the chrome sometimes will pop out. But So then you just basically press that in and join those together. 
make sure you're even all the way around and it's centered. The side windows will have the chrome joining section uh, on the flat part, the flat uh, vertical section of the window. And also the fuse section of the seal will go in that spot as well. And now once you have all your windows with seals and chrome, I get, usually get some weed whacker line. Uh, you, can, you can buy these at any you know, lawn and garden or even Home Depot. And you want to start, I usually start at the bottom, and I work my way all the way around to the other, uh, to the bottom again. And at the bottom, you're going to crisscross the lines. But the way I work it is I kind of make, you know, a bow in the line, as you can see there, and I work it into the seal to get it started. Okay. And then... Basically, I start just rolling the line into the seal, and you basically you're gonna put that into the inner flap. This is the flap that goes inside the car and is gonna wrap around the lip opening where the window goes. So you need to crisscross them at the bottom. Okay, and then I do this as a precautionary because uh, sometimes the seal just does not want to go into the window opening right away. So I use some silicone or soap and get the corners ready for some lubrication. So it will be easier for the rubber to slide in and line up better. If it's too dry, sometimes you're fighting it and muscling it and it just doesn't want to sit in. So just use some silicone and you can uh, lubricate the corners. Since that's usually where they, they hang up. Put the wire on the inside. And line up the window all the way around and make sure you're even. And you want to slap on it and downward. My dad used his fist right there. Do not do that. <laughs> I mean, I know uh, I have some footage of uh, the Australian assembly line, and they actually used a rubber mallet to get some of these windows in. It was pretty amazing how they did it on the assembly line. But you just basically want to slap downward. So sometimes I start with pliers, and you start pulling upward, and the lip will come over, uh, the, I'm sorry, the rubber seal will come up over the lip of the car. And basically I start from one section and work my way up to halfway up the sides. And you can see what I'm doing. Sometimes it's, it's a little tough to pull it, but you want somebody on the outside slapping as well to get it in there. Now I start on the other side, and again you go up the sides and stop pretty much halfway. Now you're seeping the window in well. If you want to continue from this side you can or you just switch like what I'm doing here I switch and go on the other side now. Now as I'm pulling you notice my father's on the outside and he's still continuing to slap the seal in. You gotta keep working it but what he has to do is once you pull the wire have him hit behind where you're moving because that will then move the rubber seal uh, inward to inward into the car more and that's what you want you want it to seat around that lip just keep pulling and go slow and then you can kinda switch sides again and meet up basically in the top middle sometimes it gets a little tight and I use a pair of pliers to pull them but this one was okay there you go then sometimes the outer seal is tucked into the car so get an implement that's not really too sharp that you can get under the rubber and uh, pull that lip out. You can actually use that, the end of a, a paintbrush sometimes that's plastic and it's, it's not sharp so that sometimes works really well. Nice. You wanna, we did the same thing on, in the front windshield. On the front windshield is, is on these years where the windshield was completely flat um, you got to be careful because they're known to break. Um, by 65, they had a bow in the window, and so it's a little bit easier to get in. But as you can see, the window's not seating in all the way. So we're going to use some soap or WD-40 to get it in. And again, you want to slap it in and slap downward. All right, we put some lube on the corners of the opening, and you slap down. 
as you can see here. And you want it butt up against that lip on the body of the car. If you have any space or gap, you got to keep working it into the opening. If you do that, you can really bust the window, and you don't want that. So I'm starting from the center and pulling outward. And as you can see, my father's hammering away with his hand. And again, like I said, I saw in the, in the factories that they would use a, a rubber mallet and actually hit where the seal is to get the window in. But uh, we're not going to do that here. Your hand is just fine. And again, we're going to go up halfway. And it's crucial for the front window to do that because if you go too much on one section, you could break the window because it's too much pressure. So as you can see, I'm holding one side and pulling on the other and going up halfway. Just keep an eye on everything and make sure all the seals are close to that lip. You don't want any space because you'll wind up pulling the wire out and then the lip will not come around into the car. And then you got to start again. So I just keep pulling and have my father. You see, he's, he's hitting past where I was pulling just to get the rubber in. And then even after you pull the wire out, you're going to still have to continue to hit it in sometimes to get it all the way through. So this is the end of the headliner installation. We have all our windows in, and as you can see, it uh, looks really nice uh, putting this headliner in. Uh, there are a couple wrinkles here and there that we can continue to work, uh, but for the most part, uh, very presentable. Okay, so here we are with our completed 1961 Ragtop Beetle. Uh, for the most part, I feel our headliner came out excellent. The TMI material, as I stated before, is uh, for the restorer who was on a budget. They also sell the vinyl material, which is cheaper than the mohair. Uh, just keep in mind with TMI that some areas of the headliner are, might be off uh, here and there with some of the measurements. Um, you got to remember, too, there is also So Fine, Wolfsburg West, West Coast Classic Restorations, and some others out there that do offer other headliner material that are excellent. Now when you're putting your closing your top for the first time, I suggest um, leaving it out in the sun to beat so it will stretch and uh, have a nicer fit. Ours fits pretty well here. Uh, we can still make some adjustments on the bows and on the pockets and also uh, the mechanism. Um, and as I stated, see here in the TMI, the, the center square section is just a little off where it meets the sides. Uh, but for the most part, it gets the job done. And uh, if you own a ragtop beetle, uh, I suggest you hold on to it. They're awesome to drive, and they're only appreciating in value. And um, if anybody has any questions about this video, please do not hesitate to contact me at chris at classicvwbugs.com. And uh, I am here to help you out anytime, anywhere. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care.